I'm Juan Carlos Hernandez reporting outside the Palmer House Hilton in the Loop, where a wide variety of people have come to protest against the American Legislative Exchange Council, or ALEC. ALEC is a conservative group that brings together a, a nonprofit. I mean, actually, it's a nonprofit corporation that brings. It's a nonprofit organization that brings together large corporations and legislators. They're meeting here to celebrate the 40th anniversary of ALEC. Protesters say that ALEC is secretly shaping legislation across the country, state by state. That's why uh, we have a large group of protesters out here from unions, from community groups, uh, and a variety of other people voicing their discontent with ALEC.
Yeah, I'll ask you why you're here. Um, sorry? Okay, we have here uh, Demont Diener. Uh, Demont, uh, tell us what organization you're with and why you're here protesting against Alec. Uh, I'm with the Worker Center for Racial Justice. I'm basically here today to spark change. Alec is uh, basically bringing down our community. We can't get great jobs, and uh, the great jobs are being given to other people. And then we can't survive on 825. That's why I'm here. We need, we definitely need raising minimum wage. So, uh, Alec is bringing down. Uh Basically, Alec, they bring big corporations and legislators together to um, pass laws that negatively impact people of color. So we're here to put a stop to that because there's so many people of color that are impacted by low wage and not even having jobs. Uh, how many people have come out to the protest with you today? Mm, well, with me, with your yes, with your organization. My organization, we are about we're about 20 strong. We're about 20 strong. Guys. Yeah. What do you hope uh, happens with this uh, protest? Well, actually, I hope I hope everyone, I hope the government listens. I hope all these officials out here, all these police officers, they notice what's going on. I'm, I'm just happy to see people involved, not just one race. We all come together as a conglomerate to get something done. So do you think this is a single protest, or do you think it's part of a larger movement? It's, way, it's part of a way larger movement. You have so many organizations here coming together. You have, uh, you have the Rock Organization. You have the Soul Organization. You have us the Worker Center for Racial Justice, you have the Chicago Workers Collaborative. There's so many organizations out here. It's not just one. This is everyone. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Another protester um, in front of the Palmer House Hilton. Uh, could you please tell us uh, your name and uh, where you're from? Tim Berger, president of the Ohio AFL-CIO. Okay. And what brought you out to Chicago today? Well, we're here today from Ohio to say that Alex no longer going to take over our general assemblies and our policy making in the state of Ohio or nationwide. Alex is 40 years uh, this year. Uh, have they always been this secretive and uh, have they actually worked through uh, state legislators as long as they've existed? Well, they've co-opted state legislatures for far too long. We're here to say that we're going to expose Alec for everything that they're doing across the country that's anti-worker, anti-voter, anti-consumer. We're not going to stand for it anymore. So is this part of a larger movement or it's something that just uh, came about for one protest? As Alec becomes more and more exposed, the lies to their uh, hidden agenda become exposed how they're co-opting general assemblies and state legislatures all over the country. You're seeing more and more movements like that standing up for working families in the middle class. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Thank you.
everybody keep marching. We're going to start the speaking program in about 15 minutes. So if everybody can keep marching in about 15 minutes, we'll start the speaking program. But we need you to move. We need you to keep marching. We have to keep the streets clear. not going to start for another 15 minutes. Everybody keep marching. Let's keep marching and show Alec what we think of him. Keep marching. Everybody keep marching.
Everybody, everybody to the left of the stage, please keep marching. Let's show Alec what we think of him. Everybody keep marching. The program's not going to start for another 10 to 15 minutes. Thank you. We're here with a member of uh, Stand Up Chicago who, who's also come out to the protest. Uh, Shani, uh, why have you come out to the protest? We're out here today to expose Alex for who they truly are. We have 40 years of this organization terrorizing our communities, terrorizing working class families. We have 40 years that this organization has existed so corporations can have influence on legislation through money, and that's not right. We have built this nation with the voices of the people, and that's who we're here for. Everybody Alec has even marching. used please their power the and their please money please. to fund laws like Stand Your Ground in Florida, in, in Florida, and all over this nation. So we're here today to have 
uh, the legislators and other people of power that are attending this ALEC conference today to demand that we want Stand Your Ground repealed, not only in Florida, but all across the United States. So the ALEC has been behind the stand-up uh, legislation across the country. Right. ALEC has been behind the Stand Your Ground legislation across the nation. Stand your ground, yes. Right. And our children are dying because of it. And we can't have it. Of course, um, the Stand Your Ground legislation, it encourages violence. It encourages individuals to act on their irrational fears. And, and that's why we have cases like Trayvon Martin. Race played a big role in that. Race played a huge role in that. And, and laws like Stand Your Ground allow people to act on their irrational fears. What organizations uh, specifically uh, support ALEC and provide money and shape the legislation? We have a number of organizations that support ALEC and, and fund ALEC. Over 98% of ALEC's vast funding has been through various corporations, Shell, McDonald's. Um, in fact, we do have a puppet over here that you could probably catch a shot later that has a number of the organizations that fund ALEC, including BP Gas, you know, um, Exxon. We just have so many more, and it has to stop. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're just oh, waiting a moment so for. I can right. actually see a lot better. What happened two days or two days ago? Yeah. And then boom! Wow. Uh, uh, somebody was a smart alley. So they suggested you put eye dropping. Yeah, eye. I got a lot of that. Right. Okay. Here we'll get this. Side. Turn around and I'll get the other side. That way, Mike. Okay. Whichever way you got it. All right. Uh, Alderman Fioretti, uh, thank you for the interview. Well, why are you out here today? Well, I'm here to support uh, many of the unions, the middle class that are being uh, squeezed out of what's happening here in uh, our city and across this country. You know, the privatization movement has just been detrimental to all workers. It's driving down, it's driving down wages. It's it's eliminating jobs, and you know we have to we have to be here to stand for what is left of the American dream and make sure that the American dream is still alive and well in this country. In our city, how specifically are we seeing the privatization take over John, John jobs that used to pay well? Well, I, I think we're seeing it across the board. Doesn't matter where, what, what the industry is, what the uh, what the uh, profession is, uh, or what the jobs or careers are. Uh, the privatization is just really squeezing out too many people from uh, this city, from workers, from the region also. And as a part of your work, how do you, besides coming to this protest, how else do you plan to work against that? Well, I, I think we need to reevaluate what we're doing here in the city what we're doing on privatization. We've got to be careful, especially with the schools. We see this privatization movement in our educational system. Uh, and I think there's Susan Hurley, it, please come to it's the meant to it's meant to destroy the unions Everybody and not increase quality teaching. Keep uh, and so I think it's so dangerous on what's happening out there. Uh, that I think all we should have a lot of our uh, Susan Hurley, political come to the stage. Uh, members, people of the city council, our legislature, all stand up and say, "Hey, what's happening here?" And I think I think the movement, the tide is turning against it, but not fast enough. Uh, and we need to do the right thing to to make sure that we do we that everyone here, that our middle class is protected, uh, and the people of the city of Chicago are are protected.
As far as schools, is the charter school movement part of this privatization? Well, I, I think you, you have to watch what's happening in the charter schools. I think the answer is yes. Uh, you see you see what uh, what's happening in all. I mean, we closed 50 some schools, and yet a commitment there to continue uh, the opening of more charter schools in this city. Uh, who's kidding who? The answer is yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Please keep marching. Please keep marching. I'm here with another protester. Uh, could you please give us your name and uh, your organization? Sure, Ray Lopez Calderon, and I'm executive director of Common Cause Illinois. We're Common Cause is based out of Washington D.C. and we're in 35 states. Uh, what brought you out to the protest today? Well, we came out here because Alec had the nerve to celebrate his 40th birthday. 40 years of pushing laws that have led to things like stand your ground, like the show me your papers law in Arizona, and a plethora of laws that have suppressed the working person in order to pr provide tax breaks and state. corporate welfare to some of the biggest corporations in America. Everyone, please keep marching. And how long has Common Cause been involved in the work against Alec? So Common Cause was one of the first people to be working against Alec, and we've been doing that for, we've been looking at them for at least 10 years. Uh, our Common Cause is a 40-year-old organization, and uh, we started noticing Alec about 10 years ago, but they've actually been around for 40. But in the last several years, we uh, have been challenging their tax exemption status. As a matter of fact, we announced a lawsuit this week. We are we are saying that Alec is not only you know pushing these right wing social engineering and corporate uh, pro corporate laws. They're also calling themselves a charity and write, getting corporations to give them bankroll them and write it off their tax for for tax purposes. Uh, they're not a charity, and they are giving money um, to to legislators and calling it scholarships. Uh, so, this um, you are trying to remove their um, nonprofit status. What besides that is happening to work against the work of Alec? So, uh, one of the things is just having this kind of event here. This didn't happen a few years ago. Most people don't know that Alec's behind these kinds of laws. They're behind the hydraulic fracking laws in most of the states. They're you know people are getting earthquakes. People are uh, some people can light their water, their home water on fire because of natural gas drilling hydraulic fracking. All of these things have been happening in secret because nobody knew who Alec Everyone, was. So the biggest thing we're doing is exposing them and we're exposing key corporations. One of the last standing major corporations to be bankrolling Alec is State Farm and it's based right here in Illinois. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good to see you again. He was part of the National Alliance of Latin American and Caribbean Communities. Uh, he's, why have you come out to the protest? I come out here today because it's important for us uh, as immigrant organizations to be part of the bigger movement. We need to see that Alec is not just doing things Everyone, with wages and uh, just anything with a... That we need to really make a connection. 
that Alec is really diverse in its way that it, in its the policies that it advertises, specifically talking about immigration, imprisonment of a lot of our undocumented community. That's what I'm here today. Uh, is there any legislation specifically that Alec has created to focus on immigrants and undocumented immigrants? Well, not at the moment, but before we know that at least the Arizona law, ASB 1070, that happened a couple years ago, was really began by members of ALEC and by really the private prison uh, complex within ALEC trying to fund money to basically get money out of people suffering, is what they did. Um, are there other members of NALAC here with you? Yeah, there is. I mean, we're, there's just a few of us. There's, I think it, there's a big union presence here. But that's one of the things that we have to improve. We need to get the word out about how Alec has a reach to the immigration community. There's maybe about four or five of us here at the moment, but we're definitely have to strengthen our movement. You are, you are a national organization, correct? Yes, we are. We uh, have a national organization mainly uh, here in Chicago, Boston, LA, Houston, and North Carolina as well. Uh, what's your hope for, for this uh, protest? Is it part of a larger movement? Well, see, one of the things that we are up is for this protest is to actually begin a campaign to get the immigrant community to be knowledgeable about how Alec doesn't just hurt the community of immigrants, but the general community. We're trying to get people informed about what's really happening here and uh, to really get to put a face to the name about what Alex is doing in the community. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Reverend Alvin Law, please come to the stage. My name is Bob Reiner. I'm Secretary Treasurer, Chicago Federation of Labor. And there's a reason why every single one of you is here. There's a reason why Reverend Jackson's here, why, why, why Father Flager's here. And it's because of groups like Alec that are pushing an agenda to hurt everyday Americans. Do you hear me? Legislators, they're meeting with billionaires, they're meeting with corporations, and their agenda is to do things to everyday Americans to make sure that the income gap is, is where it's at right now, bigger than it ever has been in American history, and that's wrong. Isn't that right? Are you upset about it? Are we ready to stand up? Let me tell you something, this is a broad coalition. The CFL, all of the organized labor, we're not the only ones upset about this. We got a number of groups that are here today that are ready to stand up for what's right. 
We've got we've got groups like Arise Chicago, Chicago Jobs with Justice, Illinois Citizen Action. We've got Occupy Chicago. We've got Common Cause. We got the Workers Center for Racial Justice. We have the Chicago Workers Collaborative. We have a number of folks. I've got carpenters here. I've got nurses here. I've got the ATU here. I got airline pilots here. I got everyday Americans, operating engineers. I got everybody. Action now is here too. The Chicago Teachers Union. UAW. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring up. I'm going to bring up our first speaker. It's somebody who, who works in the field every day, plowing their way, representing people that are trying to claw their way up. And it's Susan Hurley, the Executive Director of Chicago Jobs with Justice. What's up? Let Alec hear you inside. changing quite a lot. Uh, my name is Susan Hurley. I'm with Chicago Jobs with Justice. I'm so proud. I'm so proud to be here today and with all of you. Let's chant this together. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Corporate greed has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Corporate greed has got to go. Legislative Exchange Council. They are the people working in every state to bankrupt pensions, to bust unions, to pass stand your ground laws. They think we don't know who they are or what they're doing. But we do know, don't we? Yeah. Are we going to stop them? Yeah. Are we going to stop them? Yeah. That's right, we are. Thank you. Yeah. Alec is engaged in a systematic strategy to take rights away from workers, to take rights away from everyday Americans, to make sure that they hold all the all the equity and all the capital in this country. This country is not going to rebuild itself without everyday Americans and communities being strong. I'd like to bring up somebody now who's going to speak probably about what it means to be part of a community, Reverend Alvin Love. Where's the Reverend at? Oh, well, I, I guess we're not doing that right now. <laughs> Is my friend William McNary here? Nobody fires up a crowd like William McNary. William McNary represents a coalition. Thank you. I'm going to bring up with me a woman named Betty Magnus from the Rainbow Bush Coalition. And the reason that Betty's here is for many reasons, but one of the reasons is we don't have a podium and I want to be disciplined, so she's going to help me here. Well, good afternoon. Wait a minute. My mama always told me you can tell what kind of a crowd you're standing in front of by the way they greet friends or by the way they greet strangers when they greet you. So let's try that again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now that's more like it. Not only do you do my mama proud, they hear you all the way in the Palmer House on this 40th, on this 40th anniversary of the conference known as the American Legislative Exchange Council. We're exposing their attempts to take over our democracy. They are in their meeting in private to try to plan public policy so that corporations can make more money, they can pollute, and they can keep our wages low. They're getting bailouts and bonuses and record profits and loopholes and golden parachutes 
while the middle class and those of us struggling to get in the middle class get layoffs and less food stamps and more home foreclosures and threats to social security and attack on our voting rights, we believe that every man and woman who wants to work deserves a living job with a living wage, good working conditions, and safe and secure retirement. But they're in there, they're in there, and they want to give us lower wages, higher health care costs, reduced pensions, and union busting. And to that we say, no! no! We believe that every child is entitled to a high quality public school education, regardless of where they live and where they belong to, and they want to give us privatized schools and teacher layoffs and bigger class sizes and less music and less art and more and more and more tests. And to that we say, no! no! And while we believe that everyone should be free to walk our streets in safety and security, Alec and its members give us stand your ground laws, shoot first, ask questions later, produces vigilantes which results in the death of innocent young children, and to that we say no. no! And lastly, we believe high quality affordable health care should be a right guaranteed to all, and Alec wants to give us obstruction and delay and deny and repeal. But make no mistake about it, my brothers and sisters, we are not going back. We are not going to let, we are not going to let 2.5 million children under 26 who are allowed to stay on their parents' policy to be dropped. We are not going to go back to the days when they would cancel your coverage if you get sick. We are not going back to the days when insurance companies charge women more than they did men. And we are not going back to the days where we let 54 million people who have access to preventative care go back to co-pays and higher deductibles and higher premiums. Going forward with the American Affordable Care Act, it will not be repealed. It will be implemented. It will be strengthened. And it will be expanded. <laughs> Lastly, I was brought up Baptist. I closed more than one, but this is my final close. Y'all ready for some good news? As my good friend, the Reverend Jesse Jackson, who is with us today, always says, we never won a battle unless we fought, and we never lost a battle that we fought. Now that we shine the light, guess what? Good news. 49 corporations have already left Alex. Coca-Cola, gone. Kraft Foods, gone. McDonald's, gone. Procter & Gamble, gone. Johnson & Johnson, gone. Amazon.com, gone. General Motors, gone. General Electric, gone. Bank of America, gone. Stand by, more to come, more to come. Now that we fold the light on Alec, the bottom line is that 49 legislators who used to be members, 74, I'm sorry, legislators who used to be members of Attic, they've resigned, they've left. And even better news, 107 people who used to be Alec members, they lost their re-election bid, four losing their recall, more to come. So let's stand together, stick together, and stay together. They can only win a day to battle. Look at us. We're all united. Thank you, Chicago Federation of Labor. I learned my values in three places without even knowing it. When I was a kid in school, I put my hand over my heart and I said, One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice, not for the privileged few, not for the ones with the best lobbyists, not for the ones with the biggest checks, but with liberty and justice. My brothers and sisters, let's go take our government back. Thank you so much. Are we ready to fight? Yeah! You know what I see here? I see the brothers and sisters from ASPE. And bro the brothers and sisters are asking me, let me hear you for a second. Can I hear you? Come on! Everybody thinks that ASPE is just fighting for their pension. That's not the only thing they fight for. These are the men and women who provide vital services along with firefighters, along with police officers, along with teachers, 
And what the folks in that building want to do is they want to start making money off of that kind of business. They don't believe in social services. They believe in profits. Somebody's going to come up here and talk to us right now about that very issue. His name's Tim Began. He's a member of the Chicago Teachers Union Local 1. Let's hear it for Tim. Good afternoon. My name is Timothy Began. I'm a father of a CPI student. I'm also a teacher at Roosevelt High School. The American Executive Legislative Exchange Council is a group of corporate lobbyists and state legislators who meet away from the public eye and draft and implement laws that benefit the super rich at the expense of workers, health care, education, and the environment. Today I'd like to address their work in dismantling the public education system in Chicago. ALEC is active in privatizing the public school system at the expense of the taxpayer and the student. The Innovation Schools and School District Act was approved by ALEC in August 2009. It creates a new classification of school district called Districts of Innovation that adapt new ways of allocating resources. Many of the ideas of Venture Philanthropy Broad Foundation and Education Privatization Think Tank CRPE can be found in the ALEC bill and are now familiar to CPS parents as we are experiencing the rollout of these policies. For example, modifying the length of the school day in the school year, new curriculum and new standards like Common Core to encourage school districts to create and manage a portfolio of, of schools instead of a single system uh, like uh, an investment portfolio. To encourage school districts and public schools to find new ways to allocate resources like student-based budgeting to encourage local school communities and principals to have even greater control over levels of staffing, personnel, and programming. Interestingly, it also says if any of these, uh, if any of the collective bargaining agreements get in the way of any of these quote-unquote innovations, then those uh, bargaining agreements are, will be null and void. CPS is a member of the League of Innovative Schools, a group of 32 school districts and technology and curriculum vendors looking to transform what they see as the education market valued at hundreds of billions of dollars. According to their organizational charter, the market is highly disaggregated. The buyer is usually an individual school district and as such there are 14,000 different buyers. Furthermore, each buyer has its own diverse curricula, learning standards, procurement idiosyncrasies, and purchasing cycles. So these challenges make it difficult for corporations to identify effective products. The League aims to alleviate these barriers by designing new ideas to improve the uptake of education technologies within districts. This will involve identifying barriers to innovation and the procurement of new tools within and across districts. So what does that mean? It, what it means is, listen to the sponsors of this, Apple Computers, Cisco Systems, Carnegie Corporation, Discovery Channel Education, Follett Corporation, Gates Foundation, Pearson, Rupert Murdoch's Wireless Generation and the United States Department of Education. They're pushing an education system where the role, professional judgment, and the need of flesh and blood teachers is greatly reduced by delivering a standardized curriculum preloaded on tablet computers. Common Core is a prerequisite for transforming school districts into a vast new technology market. We are witnessing the destruction, damn right it sucks. We are witnessing the destruction of the public education system that made America the richest and most powerful country in the world. It is happening because the super wealthy bankers and hedge fund operators have declared that cannibalizing public institutions is the fastest and safest way to enrich themselves without actually working for a living like the rest of us. The mechanism for the, that is charter school investment and the lever for radical change are organizations like ALEC, the parking meters, the Skyway, the Port of Chicago, and now the public schools are being rapidly sold off against the best interest of the taxpayers. That's right. In each instance, the taxpayer had to pay inflated prices for an equivalent or inferior service. It will be the same with public schools if they succeed because education is a social service, not a business. And the profit motive distorts outcomes for children. 
The rich seem to think that the only purpose of government is to protect their right to accumulate wealth and safeguard their property. But as wealth trickles up and accumulates in the hands of the few, government serves another purpose, to redistribute wealth so that everyone who works hard has a shot at the American dream. Groups like Alex subvert this function by hijacking the legislative process and by privatizing our public resources. Without that function, history has shown that insurrection, often through violence, is inevitable. Thirty years ago during the Cold War, we were led to believe that democracy and the free market were interdependent, that one could not exist without the other. In 2013, it is clear the free market is becoming an impediment to democracy, and groups like ALEC are showing us that this is the case. So I am here today to say no. no. ALEC, you are not welcome in Chicago. No. Men like Jeb Bush are not going to make education policy decisions for our students in our city. Our children's education is too important to be sold to the highest bidder. The promise of public education, the foundation of American democracy, one system for all students, rich, poor, all religions, cultures, and colors, is too sacred to our national identity to be snuffed out for the profits of the 1%. Thank you. Somebody from the Chicago Workers Center for Racial Justice. His name's Demont Dean. Or Demont, are you here? Demont. Demont. Are we still fired up? Yeah. First of all, give yourselves a round of applause for the units. Hello, my name is Demont Deaner, and I'm a member of the Workers Center for Racial Justice. When I found out Alec would be in town for their 40th anniversary conference, I just knew I had to come down and give them a special happy anniversary. <laughs> really. As a relatively young black male in Chicago, I have to work multiple jobs in order to make enough money to support my three children and myself. The minimum wage here in Illinois is $8.25 per hour, or about $18,000 per year. Boom, yes, yes. The poverty level for a family of four is $23,550. So if I only worked one full-time job making minimum wage, my kids and I would still be living in poverty. Yeah. Basically. It's not right for a grown man to work a full-time job and still not be able to support his family. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Alec members have fought tooth and nail to keep the minimum wage low across the country and keep workers in poverty. Not only has Alec fought against increasing the minimum wage, they have the audacity to pass laws that prevent prog prog uh, progressive cities like Chicago from passing ordinances that will require companies in the city to pay workers a living wage. That's horrible. That's horrible. It's not right to live in a world where members of the Walton family, which is the family that owns Walmart, are worth billions of dollars but thousands of their employees are so poor that they qualify for government assistance. I am a hard working man that has to work numerous jobs in order to feed and clothe my children. I believe in hard work. And I believe in the dignity of work. But there's nothing dignified about 825 and there's nothing dignified about these bums in Alec. So, I have a chant for you. Thumbs down to Alec. 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 This wouldn't be a rally if I didn't ask this next gentleman to get, get, get up and speak. He's a very good friend of the president, national president of my organization, Rich Trumka. And he's somebody, he's somebody ever since I was a child inspired me, Reverend Jesse Jackson. Save the families. Save the workers. Save the families. Save the families. This land. 
is our land. This land is our land. Pay the workers. Raise the wages. Public health care for all. Now. Public education for all. Now. Public transportation for all. Now. This land is our land. We work. We fight wars. We stand. Our lives and our blood. This land is our land. Save the workers. Save the families. Red and yellow. Brown, black, and white. We're all precious in God's sight. Everybody matters. Everybody matters. Workers matters. Machinists matter. Teachers matter. Pilots matter. Children matter. This land is our land. Keep hope alive. Forward ever. Backwards never. Forward ever. Backwards never. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Alec, go home. Alec, go home. Alec, go home. Alec, go you. It was just a couple years ago that the sheet metal workers from Local 73, the UTU, and brothers and sisters across the labor movement joined the Occupy movement, joined the students up in Madison, Wisconsin, to fight back against Governor Scott Walker. The brother who's going to come up here and speak now, his father was a stockyard worker. He's a member of UFCW Local 1546, and he's president of Chicago Federation of Labor, Jorge Ramirez. As we close up this rally, we want to let the folks at Alec know this isn't the end of something, it's the beginning of something. No matter where you hide, to pass your legislative efforts in the dark of night, we'll be there. We'll be there for you to answer to. Because we're what matters in this country. Look around. This is what democracy looks like. I venture to guess that the people that are gathered in that boardroom are not looking like the people that are out here right now. You know, I want to thank many of the speakers that came before me for teaching me that any cause that causes injury to one is worth fighting for. To teach me and to teach us to stop agonizing and to start organizing. Because if we're not looking after one another, that's what you'll get. The message is simple. We want to let these folks from Alec know that we're not going to back up, we're not going to back down, we're never going to give up, we're never going to give out, and we're going to always hold them accountable ultimately. One day long. One day long. Yeah. That's right, Reverend. One day longer. One day, One day longer. stronger. Right? One day longer. The message is simple. They're looking out the windows wondering what's going on. Who are these people? What we want them to know is simple. Shame on you. Yeah. Yeah. Shame on you! 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 That's right! That's right! Shame on you, Alec! But before I part, I do have to thank them for one thing. One silver lining in that nasty black cloud that follows them. They brought us together. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you, Alec, for bringing us right. together. Yeah! You've got labor. You've got community. Yeah! You've got religious. You've got faith-based. Yeah! Right. Community. You name it. We're here. Yeah! Environment. That's right. Yeah! 
we're here because we're tired of it. We're fed up and we're not giving up. We're going to stand up for what's right. And we're going to look around and stand up for one another. Let me see your signs. Let me see them. Put them up. Put them up. Let's go. We're not going away. We're here to stay. We're here to stay. Thank you. As my good friend Joe Pijanowski would tell me, the rally may be over, but the fight continues. Let's do what our brothers and sisters from Ohio did when they took that bus out here today. They've been fighting against Alec just as long as anybody else, and they're continuing the fight. Talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, get on Facebook. Make sure that everybody knows that the people here today, everyday Americans, every shoe that hits the streets of the city of Chicago and this great country, they know that what the people in that building are doing is not bringing us up, it's pushing us down. So as you leave here today, keep Keep the spirit alive, keep the fight alive, keep the solidarity alive. Thank you. All right. We'd also, we'd also like to thank, I'd also like to thank the brothers and sisters from the Fraternal Order of Police who are fighting the same fight that we're fighting here today. And know that they're here to protect us, not to protect them. Thank you. Yeah. In this land, yeah. that land, yeah. this land, yeah. this land, yeah. that land, yeah. this land, yeah. was made yeah. for you yeah. and me. Yeah. Teachers, yeah. stand your ground. Yeah. Machinists, yeah. stand your ground. Yeah. SEIU, yeah. stand your ground. Yeah. Yeah. Ask me, yeah. stand, yeah. yeah. stand your ground. Firemen, stand your ground. Policemen, stand your ground. Children, stand your ground. Male men, male women, stand your ground. Keep hope alive. Alive and keep hope alive. Alec, go. Alec, go. Alec, go.